Buonasera a tutti. Good evening, um, everybody. Lao Tzu, uh, Chinese philosopher, said uh, that a journey of 1,000 miles always starts with the first step. And this is a very true image uh, which tells us uh, how global change uh, is not a distant uh, mirror, mirage. It is not uh, a u utopia. It is just the sum of uh, a number of uh, virtuous uh, actions. Uh, uh, day in, day out. And uh, all the mayors who lead big or small cities have a fundamental role to play, not just at a local level. And uh, we obviously must understand uh, that uh, we have a global responsibility. If, as Lawrence says, uh, um, the beating of the wings of a butterfly in uh, um, the Far East can cause uh, a tornado in Texas. We also know, however, that a small act uh, of uh, generosity in a city can make a difference. The subtitle of uh, the encyclical uh, um, Laudato Si is um, very indicative in that uh, because uh, the encyclical stresses that uh, the planet we live in uh, is uh, our common home and uh, um, this is where we have to uh, show respect uh, in the subtitle in this uh, subtitle as we know on care for our common home we're invited to bring together economic uh, and ecological uh, commitment uh, uh, both of these terms derive from the Greek oikos a small community but in uh, practice, uh, these two words are at odds with each other. We have to make sure that uh, ecology and uh, economy are seen as having a common root. They have to um, be seen as one. One cannot survive without the other. And that's why we have a very ambitious and challenging objective. We have to change uh, the course of things through small uh, everyday actions, the only one that can truly make the difference uh, in our global challenges. We have to educate our fellow citizens to safeguard the environment as a common good. We have to uh, teach people how to use natural resources uh, virtuously and make sure that uh, capital and nature can coexist. We have to think locally and act uh, globally because uh, we did not inherit the earth from our parents. We have borrowed it from our children, as an old environmentalist slogan goes and we have to make sure that we hand it uh, um, to our um, future generations um, in a better condition that we found it in and we have to promote uh, water management and water resource management i'm very proud to be um, from Bari. Bari is uh, uh, known for one of the biggest waterworks in Europe that was also the symbol of the struggle for water as a common good because in 2018 all of the um, municipalities of the region of Puglia will uh, jointly manage this um, and we're very proud uh, in Bari because we've created uh, the so-called um, water homes. Uh, this is where people can uh, uh, get water on tap uh, and we also reduce uh, the use of plastic when people refill their containers and it's important to dose every litre of uh, water. Um, citizens f line up uh, um, peacefully and understand that this water is for free because it is public and the more they respect it the longer this water will be a common good. These are small steps but significant nonetheless for this journey of change. We have these water distribution centres and in our own home in, um, by small um, contribute to a cultural movement and make a difference. Uh, and this is a silent movement which from home to home, from citizen to citizen, becomes global and involves uh, global powers uh, and uh, directs their policies. In um, Bari a few weeks ago we recognised uh, uh, the neighbourhood uh, that uh, made greater terms of um, separate waste collection. I'm very proud to say that this was one of the so-called difficult neighbourhoods. This is not 
an award, a cup that we give, uh, but we give um, the neighbourhood uh, four benches uh, and a swing made with the recycled plastic. Um, and I'm happy because I know that every time a child will play on that swing, he or she will understand that respecting the environment is not just uh, a pretty um, sentence you're ta taught at school. We need to um, try and fight inequality in our uh, plan uh, global community, and this also means explaining what is meant by new slavery, by human trafficking, and those uh, seas that are becoming mass graves. And I would like to refer to a, an experience at a, as a citizen. I was a young boy 24 years ago, summer of 91. Bari became um, the, the uh, largest uh, inflow of migrants. Uh, a whole sh uh, the Vlora birthed in Bari. 19 is a number that was mentioned by the mayor of Lampedusa to mention an episode which occurred showing intolerance. This happened only a few days ago in our country. We saw 20,000 Albanians uh, in, who were fleeing the poorest country of Europe at the time, uh, seeking uh, a better opportunity and trying to restore their dignity. 20,000 were on board that ship. And yet uh, we did not build barricades, we did not uh, erect a wall, we did not burn mattresses. We opened our doors to those we considered uh, to be brothers. Hospitality is part of our DNA in the city of Bari, or maybe because we don't want to disappoint our um, patron Saint, uh, Saint Nicholas, who is a bridge between the east and the west of the foreign saint uh, uh, who was um, dark-skinned. Uh, uh, we have a dark and saint like Palermo, and he's the symbol of uh, the crossroads uh, that our city is. Bari welcomes unaccompanied uh, foreign miners that, who are deserted uh, at dawn in front of our reception of uh, our halfway ho homes. Uh, they are children, and for these children and all the others as mayors, we have the duty to guide these uh, small steps uh, towards change. We are often scared. We would often like to go back especially when we feel alone. And that is why I would like to thank you all today, and I would like to thank His Holiness, because this initiative, the declaration which we'll be signing, the words we've um, spoken, give us great trust and hope in the future. We're not alone, we never will be. The ecological conversion that uh, uh, the Pope invites us to embrace uh, in his encyclical can uh, um, materialize if we work together. Thank you.